So this is the first game I'm looking at. This one's called I Divine Cybermancy. And basically this is a first person RPG kind of shooter game. Here is my this is the inventory for my character. I'm putting a few grenades in here because I had a few slots open. And you can see I have a main weapon and a secondary or I guess a melee weapon and this shooter weapon. So I have a sniper rifle and a sword. And you can have three different types of armor, a light, medium, and heavy. And you can change in between each one. Heavy is, you know, harder to run in, and light is faster to run in, but provides less protection. So I got my sword, my medication <laughs> that I can inject myself with, and then another sword. This is like, like a sword that it does something pretty awesome. I'll show you a little bit later. Anyway, and then this is my sniper rifle. And this is my command menu. Each one of these it does different things. You can set it up to have certain commands in the areas you want. And this one is the cloaking. I can run around and the little yellow bar in the bottom right hand corner between the red and the green is what indicates how much energy I have left or how long I can stay cloaked for and not become visible afterwards. And if you take a shot you automatically become uncloaked. So you have to watch out from where you're shooting from. So for now, most of the time I spend my... or most of the time the way I kill people is by cloaking and then shooting them. But if there's multiple enemies, you can't always just be in the sight of one enemy and kill him. Okay, so now I can show you the magic of this game. This spell is called, I think, polycloning. And these guys have almost no health, but you can make multiple of them and they have guns. Now, if you look at the bottom right hand corner where that circle is, it changes different spells down there. Those are all the different types of spells I have. So, for now, make these guys disappear and reappear. So that's the polycloning spell. This is a, like, I guess, monocloning spell. It creates one guy, but he can take a lot more hits. And I also figured out if you try to heal these people, <laughs> they die for some reason, and I don't know why. But, anyway. And then this is another spell. It's supposed to make the enemy go crazy and like kill his friends, but since he's my guy, they make it so he doesn't kill me if I try to make him go crazy. <laughs> anyway, running around with my syringe, gonna kill some people. <laughs> this is another spell that I dab down here in the bottom right, the triangle one. I have not been able to get this one to work correctly yet. I think I have to be closer to the enemy, but um, every time I try to use it on someone, it blows me back. That's one of the grenades, and these are kind of like motion detector grenades. This is that sword I was telling you about. It basically makes people explode. There's his body, way in the background. <laughs> the sword is fun to kill people with. You run around and just chop them, and it kills them, explodes their body. Now see here's the triangle spell. Use it once more, bam, kills me. I don't understand how I'm supposed to use it. I guess I just have to get closer, but it's a it kills people in one hit. I've done it once before, and it killed the guy in one hit. So the second game I'm looking at is Crisis. This is kind of like the other game, except not as customizable, I guess. You don't have as many spells or guns or anything like that. In this game, you don't have spells at all. But you have the cloaking ability, which I was in just a second ago. You have a bunch of different guns, like the... You know, this gun right here, which is a, I think it's called a scarab, but anyway, it's just a regular machine gun. And I'm in armor mode now. In armor mode, you cannot get hurt, or, well, you can get hurt, but it takes a lot less damage. So, basically, you'll run around, you'll be in cloaking mode, and it's like the other game, if you shoot in cloaking mode, you automatically become uncloaked. Or at least with uh, silenced weapons, or with si weapons with silencers, you can just take a few shots while you're cloaked, and then you won't become unsilenced, or uncloaked. So I'm running around, and guy appears in front of me, and I can shoot him a few times, but I automatically become uncloaked if I shoot too many times. <laughs> so I have a bunch of, you can get a bunch of different weapons on here. You can have sniper rifles, um, rocket launchers, uh, there's a few grenade launchers I think too. There's these grenades right here. And I've been armor mode, as you can see around the edges, it has those little hexagon looking things. And with the, uh, when I'm recording this in 720p, it's really hard to see with my TV on, but it's pretty funny because I can't even see the enemies sometimes, even though they're probably right in front of me. <laughs> and another thing you can do with this game is you can actually, um, 
customize the guns. You can change the equipment on the guns. Like you can change the sight to a laser sight instead of a reflex sight, or you can change the uh, silencer, or you can change the mini shotgun on the front of the gun if you wanted to. So it's pretty much like the other game, except better graphics, a lot better graphics, except it's not an RPG. This one is Alice. Uh, it's not Alice in Wonderland. I keep forgetting. Uh, like madness something I don't know but it's anyway it's a remake of Alice in Wonderland except a video game and it's a little bit darker as you can tell it's kind of just a scary thing this character her name is Alice obviously she carries around a few weapons a, there's a butcher knife kind of thing that's called the Vorpal Blade you use it to make different kinds of combos and slash people up and you have a secondary weapon I think it's called the Pepper Grinder or Pepper Cannon and that is basically like a machine gun and then you can have a few other weapons like there's a horse thing it's like a one of those horses little kids ride around that's just a stick with a horse head except in this game you use it to beat people down and then there's also a teapot cannon which is kind of like a grenade launcher and here you can see i'm locked onto this enemy he's kind of like a ghost guy he goes underground when he comes up under overground even if i shoot at him he can't get hurt because he's a ghost so i have to wait until he becomes like i guess solid like that so he misses me, and I run up and I slash him in the face a bunch with my knife. <laughs> and you have to keep waiting until, you know, he keeps doing that enough to where you can kill him. And here, I purposely get hurt so I can show you something else. This is a special mode that I go into. It's called, like, I think it's, it's not insane mode, but something around that. And basically, you cannot get hurt and you do tons of damage, but you only have a certain amount of time you're in it. You can see the top left corner that bar there has a certain amount of time I show you. So now that I beat this guy and you can hear the character speak. And so this level happens to be underwater so it's really dark and I have to follow this seahorse for light. But other than that, most of the levels are up above the ground. So these three are the games I've been playing recently and I think they're probably the best ones. That this one's kind of dark, so I like it though. Anyway, I think that would be the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.